Okay, so, uh, live journal friend, uh, Prim, asked, uh, me to explain Maxwell's equations, um, which are fundamental in physics of, uh, electromagnetism. <clears throat> so, uh, I'm gonna try. Because, you know, I'll take any opportunity to lecture. So, the first equation, uh, del dot E is equal to rho over E naught. The spatial change in the electric field so how the electric field uh, is mapped is equal to uh, something we call the charge um, divided by the permittivity of free space, which is a, a fundamental constant. We'll get back to that in just a sec. Uh, del dot B equals zero means there's no such thing as a magnetic monopole. All magnets of any sort uh, and all magnetic fields have to come in pairs. We call them north and south. Um, they're not like charge. Charge can happen just all by itself. You know, an electron has a charge, um, what, 1.6 times the minus 19th uh, coulombs. But uh, there's no such thing as a magnetic monopole. We haven't found one. Uh, Maxwell's equations can actually be solved with magnetic monopoles. It's just a lot harder. Uh, del cross E is equal to uh, dBdt, which means we can make an electric field by changing a magnetic field. And in fact, this is the way we make, the way generators work, is you have a changing magnetic field, which causes an electric field to occur, which causes current to occur, um, because those charges all move, and the electric field changes and pushes the charges around, um, as is stated here. And then uh, del cross B is equal to mu naught J plus mu naught epsilon naught uh, DE DT. We can make a magnetic field with a changing electric field or with a current, which is how electromagnets work. We run a current through a coil and it causes a magnetic field and we can pick stuff up. Uh, the material doesn't have to be magnetic by itself. We can simply run a current through it uh, in, a, in a coil or a spiral shape usually. Um, and in fact, you can do this at home. Uh, I don't particularly recommend it. Uh, one of the really cool things about Maxwell's equations, the, the permittivity and permeability of free space, epsilon naught and mu naught, um, in any medium, the speed of light is equal to 1 over the square root of the permittivity times the permeability. It's yet another physical constant uh, that Maxwell found, and it also explains the absolute of, uh, of the speed of light in a vacuum. Um, because it's defined by the permeability and the permittivity. So uh, uh, three point blah, 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 times 10 to the eighth meters per second. Um, usually I remember this a little bit better, uh, 186,000 miles per second. But anyway, that's Maxwell's equations. That's why they work. Uh, and hopefully this made some sense to people. Um, uh, dot is a spatial change so the electric field looks like this, if I could draw a Gaussian with my hand. Um, and cross is what we call the curl. Um, and so the direction of the new electric field is orthogonal to the way uh, the magnetic field goes. Um, hopefully this all fit in frame, and I don't have to do it again. <laughs> and uh, I'll talk to you later. This is a very strange vlog. Boo.